Previously, we looked at why you need to find your purpose in life. Today, we understand how to do that with the continued help of the incredible Simon Sinek. If you find today's video informative and helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more content to help you live the best life possible. In addition, it would be greatly appreciated if you could consider sharing the video with others who might find it of interest. Now, today's video is the second part of a two-part series on the channel for understanding why you need to find purpose in life and how to find your purpose. Last time, we looked at why you should find your purpose, which if you haven't watched it, I'd highly recommend watching it before watching the rest of this video. The video and the playlist containing both videos will be linked in the description down below. Now, assuming you have watched the previous part, you will understand the importance of finding your purpose. This is fantastic, but the question is, how do I find my purpose? For many, especially young people, this is a question which they struggle with as they've yet to experience life in a way that might give it more meaning than beyond friends, family and educational work. How do you know what your reason for being here is? Or rather, why do you do what you do? Not having the answers to these questions can lead to great difficulties in life. None less so than the fact that if you don't have the answer, it's easy to look at life in a nihilistic way, thinking there is no meaning. So, to help me explain how to find the meaning or purpose, I'm going to seek help again from Simon Sinek, who's covered this subject in incredible detail in his books Start With Why and Find Your Why, as well as various seminars or conferences. Now, at the end of the video, I come up with possibly the most important point about finding purpose of all, so stay tuned to the end to see what it is. The first and most pertinent way to find your why is to understand precisely what purpose means. Simon Sinek breaks this down into three distinct categories. Why, how, and what. You see, for many people and businesses, the question isn't about why they do something, but they begin with what. Let's take YouTube as an example. For many content creators, they think, I'm going to start a YouTube channel to make money, when they first begin with YouTube. Here's the thing, that statement defines what, which is to make money, and how, which is using YouTube. What it doesn't define is why, the most fundamental question. Why make money to begin with? Why do it using YouTube? For so many, these questions aren't asked, they'd rather focus on the what and how, while the why, or purpose if you will, remains unclear. As in my previous video, I'll use this YouTube channel as an example to help explain this point. When I started this channel, money, growing an audience and the like was never really in my mind. It all began with a sense that I wanted to grow and improve myself, both for myself and for those I care about. My why is totally clear to me, to improve and grow to understand me and my limits better, but also embody the values I want to pass on to others and help them live a more fulfilling and ultimately happier life. And guess what, as I grow and I change over time, I'm seeing changes in the direction I take the channel in. And this will be reflected in the channel, notably in some rebranding that's in the work for the channel that I've already put in the groundwork for in my recent videos. So why did I choose YouTube to achieve this purpose? Well, here's where my how and what come into play. What I do is use YouTube as a platform first to discipline myself into a routine to consistently follow through with my personal growth. How I use YouTube is I've set up a weekly schedule to create videos, to deliver and grow in creating content and to improve my skills doing so. And here's an additional point about how what I do on YouTube is a fantastic way to achieve my purpose. I create content that helps me grow, but on creating content I have created a library that I can refer back to when I want to look back at all the things I've learned in my journey. Not just me, but I can share what I've learned with the mass audience, allowing me to achieve my purpose to help others. And this is precisely what Simon Sinek speaks about when he speaks about why, how and what. For many, they identify what they do and how they do it, but then aren't clear on why. This is why many businesses go through painstaking efforts to try and make clear mission statements, because they need to make clear for all stakeholders in the business why it is they do what they do. But very, very few people and very, very few organizations can clearly state why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make money. 
That's a result. By why, I mean what's your purpose, what's your cause, what's your belief? Why does your company exist? Why did you get out of bed this morning? And why should anyone care? So now you have a distinction between why, how, and what, but how do we make our why clear? Well, the easiest way is to create a statement. And guess what? Simon Sinek gives us a neat template to help create that statement. Your why is simply to blank, so that's blank. So how do you fill in the blanks? Well, to put it as simply and as concisely as possible, the first blank should be your contribution to help make a difference, and the second blank is the impact of that contribution. So let's use the example of this channel with this statement. To learn, grow, educate and give the best of myself so that others are inspired to live the best life they can live and help change the world for the better. Now let's take a look at this statement and break it down. The first part is learn, grow, educate and give the best of myself. You see when I started this channel I said it was for me to grow. However, for those who have been following this channel for a while, you'll be aware that it's not just about my own growth, but rather about embodying the values I want to pass on to my son as he grows, as well as his family, friends and the wider community. I intrinsically associate my personal growth with being able to give more to others, which leads us to the second part of the statement, which is so that others are inspired to live the best life they can live and help change the world for the better. I want to try and change the world for the better for future generations, not just in my family, but hopefully for people who I have contact with in my lifetime. This fundamentally comes down to understanding my son's possible future is linked to the future of the wider community and therefore the world. And this is linked to one other fundamental point about why this statement helps explain my purpose. That is, I begin my why from within, or from myself which is fundamental to my belief on how we can best change the world for the better, as I think before we try to change the world around us, we need to look within ourselves first. To quote American author and speaker John C. Maxwell, most people want to change the world to improve their lives, but the world they need to change first is the one inside themselves. Now, going back to the why statement, you need to make sure your why statement is simple and clear, actionable, focused on how you will contribute to others and expressed in affirmative language that resonates with you. You see, by ensuring these criteria are met, your why statement or mission statement gives not only clarity but inspires you to work towards achieving it. Earlier in the video I mentioned I'd be finishing with possibly the most important point which is how do you actually identify your why? Everything discussed up to this point is about understanding the difference between why, how and what, and how to communicate your why to give clarity. However, before you can do this you need to identify your purpose. So how do you actually do this? Well to begin, look at your past. The most clear step to take is to think back and remember those moments you felt happy, satisfied and fulfilled. The moments where you felt joy and hope. Now, understand what it is about each of these that made you feel this way and you'll understand there's usually a common thread, or your purpose, in all of them. In my case, when I went through this process myself, I found it was in growth and helping others. To name a precise moment, when in my teens I helped teach my father how to use computers. It was something I took pride and joy in, and ultimately led to my love for technology. However, on reflection, it's not computers that I've come to realise are my passion but rather the fact that I was of value to someone important to me and that helped me build confidence and belief in myself. That's one of the strongest memories I have for understanding my purpose and where my why statement for this channel stems from. I want to live in a world in which the vast majority of people love what they do. I want to live in a world in which the vast majority of people do business with companies that they trust and love, they work with people that they trust and love, and they go home happier because of it. People who go to work and love what they do come home happier people, and happier people treat their spouses better and they treat their kids better, and they go back to work happy the next day and they treat their colleagues better and they treat their customers better, and those people go home happier and they treat their kids better and their spouses better. It's called world peace. And it happens because of the likes of all of us. This is called scale. This is called scale. There are leaders and there are those who lead. 
Leaders hold a position of power or influence. But those who lead inspire us. And whether they're individuals or organizations, we follow those who lead not because we have to, but because we want to. We follow those who lead not for them, but for ourselves. This is for people who want to inspire those around them or who want to find somebody to inspire them. I can say without a doubt, you inspire me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video, but now I want to know, what is your why statement? Let me know in the comments section below, and as mentioned before, if you enjoyed the content, please drop a like, consider subscribing, and sharing this video with others.